what they taught us at school isn't really the way it is, and that our senses are playing tricks on us. You just gotta wonder, what is this reality that we find ourselves in? Quantum physics says it's all just waves of information. Do I believe that? <laughs> I hope so. Yikes! And here we are, the granddaddy of all quantum weirdness, the infamous double slit experiment. To understand this experiment, we first need to see how particles, or little balls of matter, act. If we randomly shoot a small object, say a marble, at the screen, we see a pattern on the back wall where they went through the slit and hit. Now, if we add a second slit, we would expect to see a second band duplicated to the right. Now, let's look at waves. The waves hit the slit and radiate out, striking the back wall with the most intensity directly in line with the slit. The line of brightness on the back screen shows that intensity. This is similar to the line the marbles make. But when we add the second slit, something different happens. If the top of one wave meets the bottom of another wave, they cancel each other out. So now, there is an interference pattern on the back wall. Places where the two tops meet are the highest intensity, the bright lines, and where they cancel, there is nothing. So, when we throw things, that is, matter, through two slits, we get this, two bands of hits. And with waves, we get an interference pattern of many bands. Good so far. Now, let's go quantum. <laughs> An electron is a tiny, tiny bit of matter, like a tiny marble. Let's fire a stream through one slit. It behaves just like the marble, a single band. So, if we shoot these tiny bits through two slits, we should get, like the marbles, two bands. What? An interference pattern. We fired electrons, tiny bits of matter, through. But we get a pattern like waves, not like little marbles. How? How could pieces of matter create an interference pattern like a wave? It doesn't make sense. But physicists are clever. They thought maybe those little balls are bouncing off each other and creating that pattern. So, they decide to shoot electrons through one at a time. There is no way they could interfere with each other. But after an hour of this, the same interference pattern is seen to emerge. The conclusion is inescapable. The single electron leaves as a particle, becomes a wave of potentials, goes through both slits, and interferes with itself to hit the wall like a particle. But mathematically, it's even stranger. It goes through both slits, and it goes through neither. And it goes through just one, and it goes through just the other. All of these possibilities are in superposition with each other. But physicists were completely baffled by this. So they decided to peek and see which slit it actually goes through. They put a measuring device by one slit to see which one it went through and let it fly. <laughs> but the quantum world is far more mysterious than they could have imagined. When they observed, the electron went back to behaving like a little marble. It produced a pattern of two bands, not an interference pattern of many. The very act of measuring or observing which slit it went through meant it only went through one, not both. The electron decided to act differently, as though it was aware it was being watched. And it was here that physicists stepped forever into the strange never world of quantum events. What is matter? 
bubbles or waves? And waves of what? And what does an observer have to do with any of this? The observer collapsed the wave function simply by observing. <laughs> two objects, two electrons created together, are entangled. Send one to the other side of the universe. Now, do something to one, and the other responds instantly. Instantly. So, either information is traveling infinitely fast, or, in reality, they are still connected. They are entangled. And since everything was entangled at the moment of the Big Bang, that means everything is still touching. Space is just the construct that gives the illusion that there are separate objects. Are we far enough down the rabbit hole yet? Flatland, a world of only two dimensions. Only forwards and backwards, left and right. In this world, there is no up and no down. I said to Ray, where's Dottie? He said, well, she's out in line. I said, well, uh, huh? What the bleep is that thing? Huh? In this world, the two-dimensional beings that live here have no concept of three-dimensional objects. These two-dimensional flatlanders have no understanding of cubes, spheres, tetrahedrons, or yours truly. From their 2D perspective, my 3D finger looks something like this. <gasps> what the letter does that? Run! <laughs> Hello, little circle. Uh -uh. Fear of the unknown. Or should I say, not yet known. It's a puzzle. If we see only what we know, how does anyone ever see anything new? The unknown. How do we ever get out of our box? Hello, little circle. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Who said that, that? Where are you? This is always the tricky part to explain. I am in another dimension, another space. I am above you. What word? The A word. Above? Ah! Oh, it's forbidden. <laughs> well, what do you think it means? I don't know, and I don't want to know. You can be severely punished if you use that word. <gasps> Are you a ghost? <laughs> I hope not. I just have a different perspective than you do. I can see things in a way you can't yet. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, okay, you have a safe hidden in your pantry. <laughs> and inside it, you have 12 coins, a will, and a passport. How did you know that? What are you? Are you a god? <laughs> well, no more than you. You see, since I am above you, <laughs> <laughs> in the third dimension, I can see inside things in your world. Third dimension? You are a crazy ghost. There's only two. Look. 
So, if I were to touch the inside of your stomach, how would I do that? Well, you'd have to cut through my skin. Otherwise, it's impossible. <laughs> Stop! Stop! No. <laughs> Ready for more? More what? Dimensions. Oh. Directions. Uh, no! Yes, but... Oh. But there aren't any. More? 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 What will happen to me? What will I become? You'd have to become it to know. Okay. Excellent. Oh. I never knew. which we are most afraid of is what thrills us the most.